So for the past while I've been focusing on mulching in the garden. Yesterday I got this first full bed mulched. So what I did was I added some mushroom compost on top of the soil and then I've added this straw on top again. So I plan to mulch all the beds. Some people just mulch with compost, they don't put the straw on top because it can be an issue for slugs. But because of all the cats here, I'm going to risk the straw because otherwise I think it will become a cat toilet. Um, th this is some kale. I'm going to leave this into flower and then I'm going to cut it off at the roots. I am going to leave the roots in because I notice when I'm weeding that there's so many earthworms they seem to prefer the environment around the roots. So I'm going to leave the roots of these in. So the beds I'm mulching with mushroom compost, which is well rotted. It's been rotting for about three or four years. And then the pads this year I'm, I'm mulching. This one has wood chips and that one over there actually has straw. And because I have such a problem with weeds here, as you can see that there's, there's a lot of grass, there's a lot of creeping buttercup. In previous years I've just spent so much time weeding the pads that I do use a weed suppressant membrane underneath the, the wood chips or the straw. And I know that can attract slugs too, but it means I'm not spending my whole time just weeding. I want to be focusing on the beds, not the pads. So that's, I've, I've got to redo most of these as well. So here is where you can see there's some membrane. And what I do is I staple it into the inside of the bed. It stops the weeds coming up through in the pads. Um, so I still have a lot more beds to do. So I guess that's what a lot of the rest of the month is going to be spent doing is really working on these beds improving the soil with a bit of compost and then probably mulching over with the straw while i plant in trays and then transplant most things out <laughs> 